Okay, real quick, there is a really good opportunity right now to take a look at the importance of the wording on the page of a website, the main page or the wording of a website, um, uh, compared to what Google thinks it can show up for. In other words, it's good when you can make that match. And here's what I mean to say. These are websites we get to control the wording of, and that's very good. That allows us to change the wording to make the websites appear for the things that we think are important. Now, what I want to do is really quickly make a comparison of what's on these pages now to what Google's tool tells us it thinks these pages are all about. That way you can understand the best matches. That's for those of you especially who have links or websites that you want to promote but you cannot control the content. Uh, so you can't just use willy-nilly any keywords and expect to rank for them easily um, because if there isn't much of a quality score there, if you really don't have the words on the page that you're trying to backlink yourself for, then it takes way more backlinks uh, to get the same effect. Uh, and you want to go after the low-hanging fruit first. The things you know where you can get in front of visitors that relate to your business uh, on keywords that don't take forever to win. Build yourself up from the ground up. Go after the harder keywords later. So I want to show you a trick. In Firefox, you can set the home page to whatever you want. And they got a little trick for that. Right now I have it set to this. If I hit Tools, Options, then I can choose for my home page whatever it is that I want to be the home page, but I can use more than one. So watch how I do it. Let me just close this. Here's the way you open multiple pages all at the same time in Firefox immediately. I'm going to put a pipe at the end of the first line just to show you a pipe. Uh, right above your enter key on a QWERTY keyboard, you'll see the pipe. It looks kind of like a letter L, but it comes out a little differently. And you got to hold down the shift key to hit it. So it's shift plus the key right above enter. Okay, And it looks like this. Okay, that's it. That's how it looks. Almost like a letter L, but it's not a letter L, right? That's the that's the guy right there. So what I want to do is put one of those at the end of here. It's a delimiter, just like setting your CSV files to the same delimiter. This is another use of the pipe. And so then I'm going to back up to get the next one up. I'm going to put a pipe there. Then I'm going to back space to get the next one up, put a pipe there. All I'm doing is just lining these things up. No spaces at all. Just lining them up one after the next. That way I can take this whole thing now and I can copy this, okay? And I can go into Firefox and I can go to my tools options and I can just highlight this and just paste right over it. Boom. And then go OK. Now if I relaunch it, it's using the new information. Now look, the SK tools first, because that's the first one in the list. Then comes this, which is the first thing I threw up. I created a real quick template on here by just grabbing a free template and starting it. I don't mean to do anything with it. I was just playing with it. So it's sitting here. And then on this web page, it's a, there's nothing there yet, so it's using a filler page. A word of warning real quick. Google knows the stuff it pulls in, stuff that's Google AdSense. It doesn't count these to the quality score of the page so much because it knows that these change whenever it whenever you refresh the page they really can't. Uh, related searches don't matter too much but when Google's evaluating what the pages are about anyway remember it doesn't see them like a human it sees them like a robot and what it sees is host monster this that and the other media shared um, a lot of stuff that deals with hosting and Google knows exactly what all that stuff is about wording like web host and so on and so Google's very clear on, on a lot of the wording that shows up in the page source and all of these things, hosting features, you know, and so on. So Google knows what these pages are about, not by just looking at the way they look, but looking at the source code instead, right? That really helps it understand what the page is probably about, okay? And then what? Then we had this on one website that was our dummy page that we just uploaded and we have a perfect copy on the last website, the sub. Okay, So we got our building websites now, building websites today, and we have our dummy copy there. So how do all these things look to Google? Let's start with the first one, Moji Pro. I'm going to copy, go to the keyword tool, I'm going to paste it in, and I'm going to hit search and it's going to tell me what it thinks the page is about. Now remember, that's sort of this contact us form page is really the only thing on this entire page is just 
contact us. This is about it. Okay, all the coding relates to that. So what's it show? Contact us page example, email contact form, website contact forms, contact us page examples, da 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 da. So it sees my page is something that can come up for searches on these keywords, right? I'm not there unless I backlink the heck out of myself or make my website a lot larger wrapped around these themes. Okay. But but I could I could win those spots. Other guys are beating me now because they did that work that I haven't done yet. Okay, so that's what this page is about, though. It helps you really understand what the quality score is. If I want to make this page rank for <laughs> Benton Harbor Mother's Day flowers, I'm going to have a ridiculous uh, uh, amount of work to do to get that because my page is clearly nothing at all about that. If I want to make it about that, I, I change the coding on my page. I edit this page and add stuff in about Benton Harbor Mother's Day flowers. Then when I come back, Google goes, oh, and it throws up wording here about Benton Harbor Mother's Day flowers or Mother's Day flowers or Benton Harbor, Michigan, anything like that, any combinations, okay, that it sees I have some relationship to. Okay, so what if we take a look at the next site? That said this, it's a different thing altogether. It's Moji Pro, but it's another website. It's the one with the dash, so let's try that, okay, the one with the dash. Now, guess what? It's all web hosting. Web hosting reviews, best web hosting site, web space, low cost web hosting, fast web hosting, everything is about web hosting. That's the only stuff that Google sees that this page is really about because there's almost nothing on it. Most of this stuff is just ad stuff pulled in from elsewhere. And this is Google AdWords. These are like Google Partner probably. And the only thing left is all the stuff that deals with hosting and help center and a domain check and affiliates and terms that all relate to HostMonster. So Google says, oh, I know what that's got to be about, you know, and, and that's it. It's showing us what it says. Web hosting stuff. All right. What about the next page? Dummy testing. Okay. And now it's our just dummy page here on buildingwebsitestoday.com. So what if I look at that? Paste. Search. <clears throat> website tester front page browser tester website tester front page http <laughs> make new page exam websites <laughs> whatever exam websites is really about i don't know examination websites but these are keyword ideas it gives me for that and that was this page here building websites today what about building websites now it's the exact same thing so let's take a look does the word today or now affect it at all no watch if I paste that over the top, and now take a quick look, make sure you remember what these are. The last one's exam websites, for example. Let me hit search, see if anything changes. Nope, it's identical. It's identical because the content is identical, right? That's the point. So content matters a great deal. And dummy page, testing new placeholder website front page has a lot to do with why I'm seeing words like these. Okay, these are the related phrases that Google says matter, that my site's about. And so this is the importance of going after the keywords here. You see, these are your low hanging fruit keywords because Google already associates it with your page. If I say, I don't want these, I want something else, then I need to change the page. I have to be able to go edit the page and make it what I want. Okay. Otherwise, if you're just doing an affiliate page that belongs to someone else and you can't touch it, then you're just stuck with whatever it is that they do with the page. And the keywords that, that are your low hanging fruit are going to be whatever shows up in the list that you can use. Okay. And that's the importance of quality score. See, quality score means the keywords that relate to your content the best, page by page, well, site by site is the best that that you can go for most easily. If I really wanted this to show up on the front page for these keywords, I would download this list of keywords and I would do emoji run, the backlinking run on these, literally. These would be my keywords and I would drive this thing right to the top of Google like this for the most part. Now, the rest of what it has to compete with is other websites that are going after the same keywords. They probably have more on their page. They probably have images with alt coding. They probably have 
uh, links that point at other pages, all that sort of thing. They probably have a lot more words. And so my page is still going to have difficulty ranking because it's just really low quality as a page. There's not much to it. It doesn't matter so much that it's white space. What matters is there's no images. There's no links to other pages on my website to continue reading more related information. Nothing's here, right? And that's the point of our placeholder website doing all that work for you so you don't have to go find images and you don't have to think about the alt coding and you don't have to do anything else. It's just the easiest way to use the Moji Pro to make these things work for you, whatever, whichever ones matter to you, right? That's the idea there. Okay, so that's the importance of that. That is the difference between promoting this for the low-hanging fruit keywords Google sees and just simply trying to put in keywords that I want, which have nothing to do with what Google sees on my page. Okay, that will take forever to get this thing to rank for, even if I put a lot more content on the page and some maybe if I put some images and include phrases like Mother's Day flowers and maybe a picture of Benton Harbor Michigan and include that too then I have a chance <laughs> but it would still take a lot of keywords because it's really just such low optimization for anything at all there's not much there that's the importance of having control over your web pages as well and we do that with Emoji Pro all the time. We take websites, we create our own version of the page, we use their images and their everything else, but we put them on our own website. They will not mind 99% of the time as long as we're selling their products. That means we're not infringing on a copyright, we're not claiming to be some other company, we're not a competitor, we're selling their products on their behalf. And as long as we don't change the terms and conditions or disclaimers or about, you know, there anything that, that involves their legalese uh, or their claims, then we're perfectly fine. If they say lose 10 pounds in 10 weeks, we better not say lose 20 pounds in 10 weeks. That's a change of terms, right? A change of expectations anyway. We got to be legitimate, you know. And so as long as we use their stuff to promote their stuff, by and large, they're going to be happy to get the extra sales from our websites. 99% of guys who make a lot of money with affiliate marketing do it by creating their own website that's based partly on the wording that came off the original website and their own wording, some of the materials that came off the original website, maybe some of their own materials that, that leads people to those guys. And that's 99% of the winners in affiliate marketing. This is very powerful. Okay, because this search to see what Google says it understands from your web page. And you can use this on individual pages. You can do a slash and then have a deeper page, you know. If I had a Mother's Day flowers on here, if I had a page like that on here, and I don't, but if I did, I could do a search on that. That might be the page I want to promote because it has the low-hanging fruit that I need for some of those keywords. So if you do have a multi-page site or a site where you can, even as an affiliate, where you can promote more than one page of that site, you can promote like five different pages of the site and they're all different. They all come at the site from different angles, you know, and so you're picking what you think you can promote best then check each of those pages out. See which keywords show up for each page that are low-hanging fruit and make an individual project for that page for those low-hanging fruit keywords and then do another page, whatever it is, you know, Forex stuff, right? And then find the low-hanging fruit keywords and do that as a separate project and it can be on your same site. Or a new site. It's good when your sites actually relate to the same kind of theme. Um, but there's tricks to that. You can do the subdomain stuff such that you get the keyword dot website.com and you can separate it that way. And we'll talk about that in a little while. How to create a project and then turn it into a full out subdomain on your website. You're going to you know that'll just open a lot of doors. That way you can have the same website do different things. For instance, just real quick, anybody who sees this, you know, mojipro.com, right? I could have a, I could create a whole project and then make that folder, that project into a subdomain. Say it was about industrial forklifts. Then I could create a subdomain called forklifts.mojipro.com 
and maybe I do another one about Forex stuff, right? Forex stuff dot mojipro.com and then another one and another one and another one even if they're unrelated what's the point of this Google recognizes that you're organizing intentionally sections of your website same website different sections and so that increases the quality score all the way around Google's going to tend to know to show this it's gonna tend to know to show this okay for different searches and Google likes that organization and that really helps you rank a lot it's a very simple thing to do too which is nice I mean you can make everything work very easily project by project with that little strategy alone and this is and we do our runs the exact same way we just do a little bit more stuff to change it into this sort of thing it's not hard at all so I'll get into that sometime here in the series all right, what I want to do now is break off and go to the next thing. Okay.